Hey, happy fall everyone. This is Tori from Nifty Thrifties and we're gonna go over our September sales numbers. Uh, we were in Disneyland for a week-ish and so um, and not as high as last month but still over a thousand so that's great. Um, yeah, we'll just jump into it with eBay sales. My favorite sale or the top uh, profiting sale was this R13 silk skeleton dress and that sold for $150. And I think we got it for like five bucks at Value Village, so that was great. This Vuori pink jacket sold the same day I listed it for $80 with free shipping. This Taylor Stitch houndstooth top uh, sold for $59.99. J. Crew cashmere sweater sold for $39.99. Uh, we the Free blue cargo pants sold for $39. This Stickman leather bag sold for $35. This Orvis. Orvis Vintage Coat sold for $30. Uh, this Ralph Lauren Linen Top, Blue Linen Top, sold for $29.99. This Totoro sweater was so cute. Uh, that sold for $29.99 on eBay, and it was shipped to Germany. Uh, these Nike sweatpants, I was actually thinking about these for myself, but then we got them home and found out they were men's pants. Uh, but they sold on eBay for $26.50. These social collision jeans, I did not mean to pick these up, or like, I didn't check comps on them, but they sold really quickly for $24.99. Uh, this Torrid Super Soft uh, Size 6X uh, top sold for $24.99. This New With Tags Knox Rose gray top sold for $18.90. And it sold super fast, true to form. Um, this Halloween bear vest was so cute, and it brought me so much joy to list it and have it. Uh, it sold for $18 on eBay. Uh, this Ebbets Field flannels hat was like such a random, like we didn't know what it was. It says Y, I think it says YB on it. And we had it for a while, but it sold for $15. So if it was like, a well-known college or something it would have sold for more but I was happy to get that out uh, this lucky brand top that my mom gave me sold for 10 and Mercari we had a few sales and Mercari has been stepping it up it's been great uh, we sold this the JLo coat if you saw the videos of it uh, from Wilson's and that sold for 95 with free shipping this Dutch Bros artwork so cool like uh, Ryan was given this when he left Dutch Bros, well, in 2020, uh, when that whole thing went down, but it sold for $80 on Mercari. Uh, this Fendi tie that was monogrammed sold for $60, like right away, which was cool. This Nike SB Windbreaker sold for $49. Uh, Patagonia green button up shirt sold for $26. And this green silk uh, tank top sold for 15 as like a no-name brand. So yeah, more sales than we usually have on Mercari. Moving on to Poshmark. Uh, these Vince combat boots sold for 65. This Hobo International wallet sold for 40. These Fabletics wide leg pants sold for 40 randomly. I think it was a full price sale and that surprised me. Uh, these Helly Hansen ski pants sold for 40. New with tag Nike black and red leggings sold for 35 with discounted shipping. Patagonia taupe shorts sold for 35. Eileen Fisher velvet distressed pants sold pretty quickly for 35 with discounted shipping. Uh, these Givenchy pants sold for 33 with discounted shipping. They have they had some flaws on them. Kate Spade gray brown bag sold for 30 and there was like a hole in it. Eileen Fisher blue linen top sold for 29 with discounted shipping. This Arcteryx hood, I picked it up because if you ever find anything Arcteryx, you should pick it up. It's a great brand and it sells for a lot really quickly. So even like picking up this hood, I was like, well, we'll see how it goes. And it actually did pretty well, considering it was just a hood. It sold for $27. These cut from the cloth jeans sold for $25. Mondi camisole, $25. Thread and supply, new with tags, cardigan. I had this forever. It finally sold for $21. This Nike white jacket had a bunch of flaws on it. It still sold for $20 with discounted shipping. These universal thread overalls sold pretty quickly for $18. Duluth Trading Company jeans sold for $18. Levi's black shorts sold for $17. 
LL Bean lambs wool sweater for 15. I'm just like always, I don't pick up LL Bean and every time I do, it's a problem. So I'm happy that that sold it all. It did have a stain on it. Uh, Theory raincoat, that, <laughs> that was a sad story. Like I, it said not to wash it, but I did. I was like, let's just roll the dice, see how it does. Cause it had a stain and it like ripped the side of it. Um, but that sold for 15. And this Disney lightsaber finally sold for $12. Yeah, so that's all of my online sales. And yeah, a lot of the little sales added up, but we had some big ones and not too shabby. Of course, the whole month I was like, is it good? Like, are we gonna be good? And yeah, we were good. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.